this? This looks interesting all of a sudden. Okay, now this is interesting. Made in Germany. Uh, but this Dremel box is promising. And there it is, boom. Oh man, look at that, that's like a bird carcass. Everything's a dollar, dollar sale. It's a dollar here, one dollar. All right, what's up locker nuts? Today we're gonna to be going through that $25 locker I bought. So if you haven't seen the last episode, we showed you what it looked like before I started tearing into it and also showed the first few items to come out of it. It's a pretty good locker, but on this episode, we're gonna go through the majority of it. Great stuff, collector's items, you're gonna love it. Let's get started. All right, got through a bunch more stuff. We're not seeing like real big ticket stuff. Not yet anyways. This looks interesting all of a sudden. Pleasant Company. So that is the American Girl doll. Um, because if you're watching one of my recent videos, we found a, a doll that was Pleasant Company. And I, when I looked it up, I learned that those were... That was the original American Girl doll went by Pleasant Company. So uh, this could be something here. American Girl doll is highly sought after. Very collectible. And I don't think they normally come in little boxes like this. You get when you buy them. I would think it's a little bit older just from the marketing. I know my kids have bought this stuff. Oh, look at this. American Girl. A little outfit. How about that? Okay, I'm not going to disturb it too much because I don't have to. Uh, I don't have too much time to go through this stuff, but no label on there as to what outfit this might be called. That's good. I've got people that ask for outfits. When I list the dolls, they say, do you have any outfits? My, my girls really want the outfits. It's like, yeah, that's because the outfits are collectible too, but um, we'll see. Okay, that's kind of funny because I was just saying how we didn't really find anything like too valuable. Then boom, American Girl doll stuff. Then check this out. There's tons of it. There's lots of boxes in here. American Girl doll stuff. And this right here seems to be a bunch of patches. And I'm gonna assume this from Girl Scouts. I don't know. Um or no, there's that other Thing that's similar to Girl Scouts, but it was biblically based. Christian, um, I can't remember what it's called, but that's what, what that appears to be. This right here, Barbie's from McDonald's collection. Okay, so there we got some. There we got some cross collectability potential. We got Barbie or McDonald's. Uh, these feel like they're fragile. McDonald's usually sells. Plastic stuff. I mean, it gives away plastic stuff. 1991. Okay. McDonald's. Oh, okay, it is Girl Scout. So here we got a Girl Scout vest. Whoa. With uh, a whole lot of patches. That one was very accomplished. That's pretty cool. And this is the vest. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Is that a, not a vest? Sash? I don't remember what that's called. Um. It's a lot of stuff. I don't. I, I've sold old Girl Scout stuff on eBay, and uh, it went for a decent amount. Okay, here's a little Lego set. It looks new, I think. Will this be torn? I don't know. This is. Oh, this is torn. All right. Well, I'm not gonna try to open that one-handed. Maybe it's not torn. I'm not gonna open it one-handed. Uh, you know, out here, spill it everywhere. What do we got here? Grimm's Fairy Tales. That's a nice little book. What do we got here? 1973. Yeah, that book. I would say I'm not going to take any of this out right now because, um, I mean, I'm not going to take it out to sort it into flea market stuff because so far this book is, I mean, <laughs> 
So far, this box has got a lot of good stuff in it. I think this is highly collectible. And this is not boy stuff, this is more girl stuff. Which makes me think that this might be um, not the guy's stuff. Maybe his girlfriend or wife or something. And there's some nice looking Disney books. Very nice. I don't think these are big money, but those are at least two bucks each. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but five books, they're ten bucks. So if I bring those to the flea market, we're looking at a dollar each. So I get excited. When, not excited, but I get, uh, yeah, maybe excited. When I got two dollar books, because that's twice as much money. This is a Precious Moments Bible. New King James Version. Um, Child's Edition. That's pretty cool. That'll sell on eBay, I would think. Uh, here's the train whistle. Let me turn this around. <laughs> that sounds so awesome. It's amazing. A little tiny piece of wood. Uh, wow, there's not even an end on that. Just a little tiny piece of wood. Without even much effort can create such a sound. A full, deep sound. Um, Oh, I just saw something here. Let me turn this around. What I just peeked into right here. American Girl. But then what do we see right here? Fantasia. Huh. What is this? What could this be? Is this related? Is that Fantasia 4? American Girl. The reason I get excited about that is because American Girl is highly collectible and Fantasia right now is super duper hot. So um, you got you got some cross collectability in that set, and that's that's very very intriguing. So, anyways, what I was saying about the train whistle, you may have heard that from us before. I found one of these before, and my mom likes to blow it. And uh, when we're doing the dollar sale, to draw attention, and she says. All aboard the Dollar Train. I think that's really funny. It's especially funny that she actually does it. Okay, that's a good little box right here. I'm going to be taking that straight home and looking that stuff up on eBay. Not right now because, to be honest with you, I'm getting a little tired because I haven't eaten lunch. And it's a little hard to leave to eat lunch because I got the locker all spread out everywhere. It's almost like I got a flea market booth set up here. Okay, let me give you a peek at what it looks like not that much different than it was before but um and that's not that much different than it was before i'm going a little bit slower because i'm filling these bins these bins were all stacked up empty before now they're either something like that one's pretty much full but all the other ones other ones are partially full i got some baseball stuff here put aside i got some personal stuff here to go back to the owner this is uh i'm not sure what i'm doing with this this stuff should actually go in different boxes skateboard stuff i was putting aside made up with the skateboard stuff uh, I think I can sell that locally and these are all little bear flea mark well actually this I want to look that thing up there at Radio Shack strobe light right there that looks pretty cool I think that might have some value this box going home with me better flea market better flea market well, doesn't matter all right next box got this sweet looking Nike bag right here it's not it's not 100% clean but it's not very dirty either um, I just think that's pretty sick looking. Look at that. It's, that's just nice. I keep that for my girls if they would use it. Man, I'm half tempted to show that to them. Maybe they will use it. I don't think so. But uh, what we got here? I flop. Share the tunes like a little portable speaker. Okay. What's this? What is this? Hmm. Oh, this is like a for fishing. Carry your fish on there, you clip them all on. Carry it, and there's some fishing line there. I think that's what this is for. Huh. Probably doubles as like a emergency rope to you. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna bring that to a better flea market. What do we got here? No offense to anyone watching this in the Stockton flea market, but I bring that out, I wind up selling it for a dollar. Snoopy Bank, that's kind of cool. It's a little more collectible. The one flea market that we've been going to a few times now in Turlock is definitely more. 
Ooh, I saw that. I got excited for a second there. It's just a threaded tassel. I saw the gold. That's cool. That'll sell. Um, Sherlock Flea Market is uh, definitely a little higher end market. People have money. They come up from like Fresno and, and some of the outskirts of the area to shop there. Yeah, that's a nice little bag too. That is, is so cool. <laughs> A bug light or bug lit. A micro flashlight. And look at that, how you can tie it on to things. That is just got the cool factor. Alright. Sorry I got distracted. I get distracted a lot lately. Oh, okay. LED headlamp. How funny. I just bought one at a flea market for five bucks. This is 35 lumens. I bought one that's 600 lumens. It's pretty legit. 2000 Mars. Maybe I should look him up. This is definitely an interesting locker. I mean, I'll tell you right now, this locker is the kind of lockers that I just simply love going through. I mean, this is the kind of locker that everybody loves going through. Uh, collectibles, someone with a little bit more money. Uh, they got some cool stuff like that. Mini fan. Oops. It's cool. Um, mm, for Robins, we'll get those back today. Five source. Mm. Aha. Mm. This nice little pen set. I don't think, I think it's a giveaway. It's made in Taiwan. It's a giveaway. But uh, it's a nice set, nevertheless. Mm, a whole bunch of pins, sports pins, tons of them. I think those will sell. Lots and lots and lots of golf books. Like this dude golfed at tons of different golf and golf courses. That's pretty cool too. Alright, went through a bunch of stuff. Nothing too exciting. A couple of Disney pins. I don't know what to do with Disney pins, so I just stick them all to the side. I'll go through them at some point in my life. I know that some are collectible and some have value, but what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? Ooh, that's pretty cool. It's a paperweight. Very nice. I like it. It's a great message. I love Tracy. Sorry, dude, but I don't think you're gonna make it back to your owner. Francis Coppola. It's a deck of cards, I think. That's interesting to me because it's sealed. So um, I may have mentioned in an earlier video that. Uh, Decks of cards have become really collectible. Um, Madonna here, Sublime, Coyote, Ugly. Let's see. Oh, I guess. Um, a couple of soundtracks to movies. I can't really see anything I like here. Santana, Leanne Rhymes. Sublime's good, but. Warp to her. Cool. There you go. There's a go. So what was I saying? Uh, decks of cards have become really popular, uh, really collectible rather, and there can be some big money, especially in sealed ones. Actually, I don't think you can find very many open ones that sell. Like, there's not that much value in anything open. So if you find the deck of cards, don't open it. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's some big money to be made in uh, quality cards, not even vintage. Vintage is good, but you can also get some high quality ones that are just collectible. All right, another box. This has a Walt on it. That looks pretty good. That's def definitely decent. So we got a nice clean Hamilton Beach crock pot. That's a very clean one. And 
good cook, a bunch of good cook stuff. A cutting board, a couple of Pyrex bowls. This is a decent box. I mean, this is probably a $20 box right here. I'm seeing two, 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 you know, maybe the bigger one's three. Pyrex maybe three bucks each, I don't know. And this guy, five bucks at least. That's a decent one. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. That's mine. a little bit of like drywall on this one other than that it looks brand new that's five bucks all right next box a bunch more burned music it looks like let's, all right, let's sell that rope i don't really like to sell rope i'll tell you why because when people buy stuff from me and they show up Often they do not have ways to tie down the load, and they want rope. And I love having rope for them. Okay, now this is interesting. Made in Germany. Um, the pewter lid. That's that's the real deal right there. I'm just looking around at it. It. I don't see any chips. That's a really nice condition. Like really, really nice condition. Let me see another one right here. Huh. So this one's not quite as elaborate looking. What's in here? Oh jeez, oh, I'm gonna break the dang thing. It's a glass egg. Um, definitely a cheaper lid. What does that say? Made in Germany though. All right. These are these sell good on on uh, eBay. They do. Oh, look at this. That's pretty cool. Crystal lamp. Well, I, don't even, I don't even know what these would go for. I don't think I've come across one. And now I have. Put that aside. I'll look it up when I get home. And just so you know, like when I bring stuff, books, some books. So this one actually is what caught my attention right here. Golf club design, fitting, alteration, and repair, fourth edition. Um, that looks like a trade book. There's no barcode on there, which made me interested, intrigued, I should say. Um, and you can see lots of fishing, lots of golf books. Those are the topics this guy liked. I didn't scan all of them. You know, like, I'm not going to scan uh, chicken suit for the soul. I'm not going to scan Michael Jordan's book. These are mass-produced books. They're not super valuable they're just saturated on the market but i did find these two this is a pga net professional golf association book golf club repair and pictures and uh again there's no barcode and there's no price tag this is definitely a little bit older but with the amazon you can scan the cover and you'll pick up this book right here 33 bucks this book right here 13 bucks i will probably list a 13 dollar book um but I will definitely list a $33 book. But all these we're looking at, uh, I think there may have been one or two that were like five, six, seven dollar books, but most of them are like 10 cents to $2. Um, yeah, if you can believe books are 10 cents on, that's what you would get uh, net Amazon's fees. So 10 cents, definitely not worth the time. It's not, it wouldn't even cover an envelope to mail them in. But uh, you know, the, this is why you do take the time. I think I'm starting to get to the point where I can go through a little bit quicker, like, this one I thought had some value it didn't but those ones were my next two scans and then when I saw 33 it then I had to scan most everything uh, and I didn't expect there to be anything there wasn't so anyways what I'm saying is after when you start doing this a lot it's really grinding it takes a long time but you start to kind of get an idea of what Amazon's looking for this book right here is not something that's commonly found which makes it a little bit more valuable okay another box of books same size and weight as the other one but actually now that I say that get into it there's this is a there's a lot of binders in here all right this personal stuff here graduation memories it's going, it's going back to them um, so what he's got here he's got like what the heck 
It's like some kind of insurance booklet maybe. There are some regular old books here mixed in with uh, all sorts of uh, different types of books. I mean manuals and photo albums. This is a mismatch here, but I'm going to get to it. All right, so I found a couple keepers. Well, these these are some sort of uh, teacher's manuals here for golf school. That's a one, and Stack of Tilt's a different one. So I couldn't find those on Amazon. I couldn't find them on eBay. Uh, I haven't looked, like, super hard. Actually, I didn't look for this one on eBay. I didn't see this one on, e on uh, eBay or Amazon. This is not on Amazon. But I do see products from the Stack of Tilt and products from John Jacobs. So I thought maybe if I put it on eBay uh is instructor manuals i don't know maybe there's a value for that we'll find out this right here cook's handbook i think that was 12 or 13 bucks i'm gonna go ahead and list this list that this right here critical thinking i don't know is that like a uh, uh maybe it's a mcgraw hill maybe it is a textbook but this was like 23 bucks and then this which is kind of cool Masterpieces from Michael's award-winning New York restaurants. So I guess this is a famous restaurant and uh, This is like a little cookbook You probably buy there if you like what you ate for dinner you buy the cookbook so you can make it at home I don't know pretty cool 13 bucks. So those are worth listing and um, Add that to that stack. That's it for all these books. There's a bunch of uh, binders and stuff in here. Those are gone um, They're nothing the Calvary returns What's up, little locker nuts? That's what? Got two shots. Two shots? Yeah. Boom. Ooh, ow, boom. boom. Oh, wait, I got zoomed in. Boom, oh. boom, double pain. Yeah. Are you tough though? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, good I didn't girl. Say anything. I just stood It's there. not so bad, right? No. And just like that, they're gone. But at least they brought me Chick fil A. God bless them. <laughs> This thing here is kind of cool. It's a mirror ball set. And it looks like it is. Yeah, maybe not brand new, but look at that. Next to brand new, got the mirror ball, light bulb, mount, and then the spotlight. It's pretty cool. Alright, I just found a nice dart board, which makes sense because he had some really nice darts. I just put all that in the truck and bring it home and look it up. Maybe I'll sell that locally. Uh, but this Dremel box is promising. And there it is. Boom. Nice little Dremel set with lots of attachments. It's kind of a mess, but don't matter. Oh, look at this. I think you put that on there and it turns it 90 degrees. I don't have one of those. I do have a Dremel. This one actually looks a little smaller. I'd like to get a cordless Dremel. If I find one of those, I'm keeping it. Then right here we've got a uh, Dremel kit. You see that ton of attachments. I would keep that, but I have tons of attachments for my Dremel, and I do use my Dremel. I love it. I think it's a great tool. Ooh, that's nice. It's a good little set right there. Hmm. I wonder what I'll get for that at the flea market. Went through a bin that was like almost all yearbooks so that's going back this however is this fly tying here and look at this wait that's a beautiful feather from a rooster apparently this one too these rooster feathers my goodness they're pretty look at that so we have a lot of stuff here i'm assuming for making your own lures well, what is that this is all some kind of hardware Lure box. Wow, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Look at all these feathers. So, I have a feeling we have some. Whoa, that's heavy. This one's falling apart. I'm gonna throw that away. Um, needles, what the heck? What is falling out? Because I do not want fishing needles floating around. But what is this? heavy. Oh my goodness, 
this one. Look at this thing. It's more hardware. It looks like a really nice set and it looks brand new. What's this right here? Sunrise, it says. So that is definitely going to be something I'm going to look up. It could be nothing or not much, or it could be something significant. I don't know. Look at all this stuff. That's cool. All these threads down here. So this, I'm not going to take this out. Should I take this out? So look at this. This is some sort of, oh man, it's like a fly fishing station. Got all these thimbles right here. And the swivel, no, it's not swivel, it's just in there. <laughs> but you got all these here. Look at that, there's little stands for them all. Mm. So cool. What's this thing for? You got this, I don't know if this is something that you buy or is that custom made? It's cool either way. Got lots of feathers. Rabbit fur. Tons of threads. It looks like there's lots of metallic y type, like probably makes a little shiny. Oh yeah, look at this. A lot more stuff. I have a feeling that what I will do. Cool. Pretty cool. Uh, this is not my this is not my ballpark here. I have a feeling what I need to do is lot all this stuff up. Oh man, look at that. That's like a bird carcass. What the heck? It's like Oh, roadiness right there. That's crazy. Lots of doodads. Look at this. I have a feeling we might have some value here. Uh, so, I don't know if I finished my thought. I keep getting sidetracked by how many awesome things are on here, but, um, I think I would lot this up and this would be a nice eBay sale or maybe potentially a local sale. Man, tons more. So, I mean, you see the $1.25, $1.10. Oh, geez. Okay, so this is Tri City. So, we already know this guy grew up in Fremont or he went to high school in Fremont anyways and that's where I went to high school so Tri-City is a sporting goods store that was in Fremont it's since closed and uh, Fremont has gotten so expensive land is so valuable there's many businesses that aren't around that used to be and uh, that's one of them so they sold the land I think for something that would probably developed some homes and uh, so anyways that, that's, that means that's old. That was not bought recently. That was bought some time ago. Okay, let's crush this stuff. I don't want to crush anything. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, it was a dollar twenty-five, but when that was eight ninety-five there. Hmm. All right, got a nice little poker set right here. That's decent. I might list that locally. I just don't think I'm gonna get that much at the flea. Just a skill saw. Yep. Not a saw. That's a drill. But uh, still cool. This was all paperwork. 
All right, this is interesting. In this box right here, or this bag right here, I found this box, iPhone SE, and there it is. Wow, look at that dent right there. I just noticed that. I was gonna say, we never ever find the phone in the box. This one, yeah. This one's got some damage, but nevertheless, look at that in good shape so, okay I should have probably shown it before I strapped it down why do I say that every time that is my load for the market tomorrow this is my load these three boxes here one two three going to half price books there's a few binders of uh, baseball cards gonna stop by the baseball card store see if he wants any of them and then uh, that's some stuff to go home for a better flea market and this is all stuff to look up okay i just took the baseball cards to my little neighborhood baseball cards and comic shop here i didn't show him the comics because i kind of want to look through those a little more but he looked through all my cards he's like nope basically this is recycling material <laughs> i mean serious uh like basically it's not worth the paper it's printed on so i told him well, i'm bringing the flea market tomorrow he's like yeah try to get a buck for a binder and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. No bigs. I wasn't expecting anything out of those, but always like to run it by him and see if we got anything good someday. But it has not happened yet. All right, it's like 4:10 in the morning. Just got gas. Look at that. 60 bucks. I gotta make 60 bucks just to break even on the gas I just put in my car. Hi, Chihuahua. I'm gonna sell them. Table and chairs just sold. Haven't even really got anything off. 70 bucks. Alright, here's our booth. Looks like we're finally sort of set up. Close our mess, but. I don't know, we'll sell them that way. Towels. Got, um, you probably recognize all this stuff because I went through those lockers pretty thoroughly. But couch is okay, but I don't think I don't think this was there or that before I moved it. Possibly not that one. So I may have added a couple boogers, and that's uh, really unfortunate because that, that was pretty clean before. But I mean, it's still pretty. Um, I don't even care. Twenty-five dollars for that today. Um, let's see, got this nice bed frame, this will probably sell today, this I'm not going to get off right away, these are going to have a hard time selling, but I'll try to sell it, this rolling rack I actually bought off Alex today for 15 bucks, I hardly ever buy anything out here, but today I was a buyer, a nice chair, a lot of clothes, vacuums, Decent dishware. It's cool. It's a little different. Um, this is probably none of it is going to sell. It's my all dollar sale or free. This will probably sell. That's nice. This will sell. Um, Pyrex are hard to sell actually. It's Pyrex is a couple bucks each probably. Crockpot's got a huge dent in it. Let me turn that around. That's a nice little hand mixer. Hmm. This should be 10 bucks right here. This chopper. I sold a couple pans, two for five bucks. One of them was at Quasinite. That's a good deal. Sold one of the larger Samsonite bags for 10 bucks. Stuff's just all mixed together now. Vape stuff. I just sold a bong for ten bucks. Pipes and stuff out front. That's gonna be, I think that's gonna be hot today. There's the storage stalker in action.
And then that recliner over here, I sold up 20 bucks coming back to get it. I sold this Monopoly set of five bucks. And I sold those little DeWalt bits for five, you know, six bucks. This is my favorite part of the day. Hamburger time. Mm -hmm. Everything's a dollar. Dollar sale. Everything's a dollar here. One dollar. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Look at that. He found a drill for a dollar. Dollar. Dollar sale, everything's a dollar. For all of it? How about four bucks? Got four things? Four bucks. The dollar book. Huh? Yeah, Alex can take them then. Yeah, Alex take them. I'm gonna get that whistle. Is it in your glove? Thank you. There's some over here too, Alex. Not binders, but there's boxes. How much to take the binders? Yeah. Not the See that? Sorry. Alex takes it. More cards over here. Alright, people, you saw here. This is where Alex sources his best stuff. He's at the lock and nut stand. to my eBay lots and make it look that much more better. Go to his YouTube channel so you can get links to his eBay page. Hey, you want to give me a hand put that phone down? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more fun watching. Alright, that's what we're left with. 372 in bills and nine in change. So what's that? 381 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, especially considering we only paid $30 for the lockers, but not great either. There's a lot of really good stuff there at the flea market. There's some junk too, but there's a lot of really good stuff that we wound up selling for a dollar each. That's just the way it goes in Stockton. They don't appreciate uh, the nicer stuff, or I should say. They don't pay for the nicer stuff. They might appreciate it if it's cheap enough, but um, I'm happy with that. But let me show you some of the other sales that we made, which maybe are a little bit more exciting. Definitely a little bit higher ticket. First up, we've got that bocce ball set from Sharper Image. That was a really nice set and looked like it had barely been used at all. We got 30 bucks for it locally. Next was the Dremel set and the accessory kit. That was a nice little set. 35 bucks. These sell really easy and really quick. It's a great piece to sell locally. Next was this Easton bat, and this piece was from the 1980s, if you can believe that. It was in great condition. It would look like it was barely used at all. This guy just put it away and kept it, and uh, that's great for collectors. Sold on eBay for a hundred bucks. Can you believe that? Uh, that little poker chip set sold at 20 bucks locally. That's nice. The American Girl doll sets. So we had two accessory kit. You know, basically, we lotted them up. Sold them as a set, uh, $51.99, two sets there. And then this doll, I think we got the doll out of this locker. I sold that for 80 bucks. And those, all three pieces sold to the same person just recently. It's been listed for a while now, but that's a great Christmas present. All right, so the summary here I've got for you. The cost, 25 bucks for the locker, two bucks in tax. Total cost, 27 <laughs> It's nothing really. The sales, we just went over all those items. The prices here are net the eBay fees, um, so they're a little bit lower, but we have two days at the flea market, one at Stockton, 231 bucks. that's what we sold of this locker's items. There, the, there was stuff sold from the previous one, that's a separate number. The Turlock flea market, I went there the next week, sold another 100 bucks. you know, for the little bit better items. So that's not bad at all. Um, we've got a total here of 646 in profit, no, I'm sorry, in sales, 619 in profit, Return on investment, almost 2,300%. Guys, that's not bad at all, right? That's that's not bad at all. Okay, so it's not normal to get units that good for so little. I'll tell you, the last one that you watch, if you watch the, 
the first unit. That one was on the second floor, no elevator, a lot of junky looking junk and big furniture. That's going to keep the price down five bucks on that one. This one, 25 first floor, um, looked good. It had some definitely good looking stuff in there. Why did I get it so cheap? Well, for one, there weren't that many people there for two. I told the auctioneer, um, before the auction started, I want to open it 25. And so I got the opening bid. I guess there's a little bit of confusion. Some of the other guys didn't realize there was an opening bid and, uh, they hesitated for a second. It was like, maybe they thought the bid was at 25 and if no one bid the auctioneer was going to lower the price they didn't understand that there's an opening bid so instead of going 25 no one okay how about 10 uh he just said 25 i got an opening bid at 25 25 do i hear 30 do i hear 30 sold 25 so a couple of the guys um they didn't understand what had happened there and there's a little bit of uh sour grapes there unfortunately so um to my benefit yes uh, but I don't really like that to happen because then maybe there's some hard feelings afterwards and I don't want there to be because on this particular route uh, there's a good bunch of guys that I get to um, go along with so I want to get along with those guys but on um, this day uh, yeah I got one for a good deal and we made some money and it was fun good stuff in this one um, I like it I wish we could find them all that clean and with such interesting stuff. It doesn't really happen uh, that often. So I appreciate it. But uh, we still have some stuff to sell. Can you believe that? We've got the Girl Scout lot that I have on my eBay store. If you're into that, go to the eBay store. The description's in the, uh, sorry, the store link is in the description below. And uh, you can check that out. I've still got that tray of garbage pail kid cards. And I even have some of the fly fishing stuff left because I just haven't sorted it out. It just got put aside and I just and I haven't dealt with it, but I'm going to deal with it. It's right there. We just dug it out. So um, still got stuff to sell. So that profit will continue to go up. Can you believe that? Eight months later, I'm still trying to milk a little more money out of it. Some people have asked about the Nutcracker, the Mickey Mouse Nutcracker. Um, my, so my mom called dibs on that because my uncle, her brother, is a collector of Nutcrackers and he wanted that. And he was stoked to get it. So I love when we can find things like that, that people close to us actually uh, can enjoy. Uh, that makes this business even so much better for us. So um, anyways, good little locker. I liked it. I've been keeping the video on file because I did want to share it with you. So I'm glad I got the opportunity to do that. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did like it. And if you want to see more of this, I still got some vintage, uh, I call it vintage video videos maybe we should call it flashback videos uh some stuff in the archives here that i'm still going to share with you because it's too good not to um and i'll roll those out in time all right but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on logging it all right here's all those garbage pills that have been sitting on my shelf and i've actually added some as i find them in other lockers so uh I know I've had some viewers interested in this, but how do I price these without looking each one up? And who has time for that? There's a lot of duplicates. They seem like they're in decent condition. Hey, if you're interested, shoot me an offer on this.